Alright, so this one might be slightly longer. Maybe I'll maybe I'll have to do it in two more sections. This is a slightly more personal part of the journey into my study in metal uh, and structure. And all around my area where I lived, live still, I walked around and drew thing, things. And I will show you them at some other point in real life. And, and maybe you'll recognise some of them, maybe you won't. So this is... Um, a bridge. I don't know if that's obvious or not. <laughs> there's a there's a big main road through here, and we'll walk down there at some point. And of course, like the fittings, the bolts, things like that. Uh, this is the this, this is the pit bird poo bridge, as my kids used to call it, because there's always full of bird poo under there. <laughs> okay, now this is uh, down the end of the road where we used to live. It's a, a viaduct. The train runs across the top. There's this, um, the road here, the pavement here, and the River Cray here, and you've all seen parts of that, but we haven't quite been down this far. But we'll come back there again. And again, this is to show you don't need to go out and present your ideas on a, on a flashy computer video, okay? You can pluck your answers to share with us all, just from your own local areas, yeah? Not, not not always quite so local. This is slightly obvious. Uh, I cheated in this one. I was trying to get it off um computer screen. Uh, and it wasn't working. Uh, it works much better for me when I'm doing it in real life, if that makes sense. So I stood in front of the bridge. This one was in my computer screen and I just I couldn't get on with it. This is nothing more than the garage doors and the crimping effect that you get. You can get with folded sheet metal, aluminiums and alloys and things like that. And this is the, the the roof, corrugated roof. And I drew a few of these ones. There's a few warehouses, buildings down the road, and I walk down there. They're, they're quite a pleasant view, despite I'm looking just like massive grey buildings. Me and my children watched this building be constructed. This used to be um, an industrial park with factories. They tore it all down and then they put up these kind of prefab skeletons with just sheets and sheets of this corrugated metal. And I'll walk down there and show you. It's the shopping centre now. It looks slightly more pleasing now than it did. But look, just garden tools as well. Different types of metal and the ways it can be used. Okay, just some gardening tools. Fence posts. And there are uh, gate hinges and things like that. Yeah. You can make studies on all things. Uh, I'm very tempted to do one on the flat earth itself. I'm, my own little scrapbook. And uh, at some point I'll share it all with you. As part of my, my personal study, I, I, I chose to look into, uh, strangely, lampposts, lamppost coverings. And all the different many ways that they can be, they are, constructed and put together. And You'd be surprised. <laughs> Flurry lampposts, how many different types there are. I mean, that one's just elegant, isn't it? Okay, and that was in someone's garden. This one here stands on the bridge. On the sidewalk, Brooklyn, look, Brooklyn Bridge sidewalk support. And they stand on the bridge strut. This is the road itself down here, the supports. And I also, just around me, and my battery's going to die, I'll stop this one in a minute and come back for the last. I'll make this a part two part of this last bit. So, again, just uh, metal railings, grills, gates. This is the. Um, Speed rails along the side of the road to slow you down when you crash. These are the walking side rails that you sort of get at the crossings and busy parts of the road. And of course, the, just a folded sheet metal gate. Terribly strong, terribly strong folded sheet metal. Yeah, you wouldn't think so if you picked up any individual one piece of this gate. One thing, one light as anything, light as anything. Uh, of course, at the same time, I went to the V&A and took a few drawings for myself. This is a, just a balcony balustrade out fence part. And uh, they've got tons of them in that place. Just an air vent. 
nothing more, nothing less. Okay, I really, I really did and do go to town on these things. I looked at everything. Okay, and the speed of bollards. I didn't go together. That was just in a car park down the road. Okay, I looked into, into many things. I had bolts and gates go together. The drain on the floor. There's a skip yard. I stood there and drew the skips. Folded metal. Okay. Anybody know why they why you see this shape so much? The triangle. We'll come to that, that towards the end. That's uh, skippy finish. <laughs> so that's open containers. Okay, closed containers. They got lids on. And uh, we'll go down here. There's a lovely little old old sort of shops underneath the near the viaduct that you saw the image of. And there's a whole bunch of old fireplaces outside. There's a little model railway shop. Uh, yeah, we'll be back. <laughs>